Hi guys. Um, well, as you can see, the parcel arrived this lunchtime. Uh, well, that's not all we're going to talk about in this video. That's just what I'm starting with because it's here. Uh, it's currently quarter past eleven at night. Um, but this is the Cortina lamp I bought. It's actually a Cortina Safety Products Group. It's, um, according to their website, they're a US-based company that sells such traffic management equipment, you know, this, cones, and whatever else. I didn't really look on their site. But that's what it sells, and I'm presuming, as this has got Strato light written underneath that that's what this model of light is called. Just a standard incandescent filament lamp up here, double-sided lens, so it's bi-directional. It only rotates 180 degrees. I won't be rotating anymore. See? Ugh. Rotates 180 that way. But uh, what I didn't know, because it wasn't mentioned in the description, I don't know if the seller knew this either or had just forgotten about it. If I just get a pokey stick from here, is that no, I'm going to be too small, too big. Smaller, here we go. It does have the photo cell in it, so it'll only come on when it's dark, go off when it's daylight, you know, save on the battery. But it's got um, two features. The first one, when I click the switch on, as you can see, I'm just going to turn the light off for a minute so you can see a bit better, uh, it's steady burn. If I actually push the push the switch again, because it's a slide switch, it's, these features are on two different positions, we get flash. And to prove the switch is a slide switch, I've got to now poke it back the other way. So if I go back the other way, I can go back to steady burn, and off. Great, isn't it? Now, while we're on the subject of lamps, I've had a sort around in the bedroom. Um, I'll show you that later. It's not much of a security bolt here because I can just uh, use an 8mm Allen key to undo it. So here we go. I, need, I want the battery out of this. So I've got a bunch of lamps down here that I actually want to just check through. I might remember how to, uh... oh yeah, I've got to pull the side where the clips are forwards first and then in theory, the base, eh, should drop out, like so, I'm just going to pop this back in, that clips into place, it doesn't, Give me this much grief earlier. Ah, I've got to. Here we go. Just had to nudge the thingy forwards a little bit. That's all. There we go. That's in. Now, I've got to dust these lights down because I've been hanging up in the bedroom for ages, but I've pulled these through. This one's a well-used one. Dust it down. There is something else I want to show you as well. We'll get to that as quickly as possible. So, what I actually wanted to do was to see, I don't know if this one's a photo cell or not. That battery would go in there. This should sit in here one way. We've got a large notch in there. And two other notches. Okay, so that's my flashing one. Is it photo cell? Nope. You just uh, twist the tops on these ones to turn them on and off. Simple. 
So that is a flashy one. I must have the new battery on that one because uh, it's quite bright. But these can be a pig because you've got to pull them apart like that. I couldn't remember which one of which ones out of these four were flashing and which ones were steady burn. That's why I'm doing this. I don't know why I bothered doing that. I might just clip something like that. Ah, I'm pretty certain this one is the um, one with the photos. So. Or these what? Yeah, it is. Here it is. Where is it? It's on this board somewhere. Got my finger on it right there. Can I uh, get a bit of light? Oh, oh, get bloody hot. Yes. That little device there. So, do the same thing again. Hmm. I wonder if that's why this one's got a red circuit board in it. Well, it's not actually a circuit board. All the components are sort of, well, I suppose it is actually, doubling up as a circuit board. Right, so. That far so works really well. The closer to the light you get, the dimmer it gets. But yeah, that works. Let's see if prove it works. Yeah, I thought the f um, these ones were steady burn. Twisted it and it come off. Now I've got two of those. I did have more than that, but I did sell a couple on eBay. I've got this one. Which is exactly the same, so I'm not going to bother with that one. Is it JSP Mini Light? www.jsp.co.uk. I don't think they. Well, these ones are no longer manufactured. Here's another one of these. These light boards are exactly the same, they're just different colours. Well, apart from the ones that have got the um, circuitry soldered to them. But I think this one's a steady burn. Yeah, it is. I haven't got bother putting it together, I'm going to do this. <laughs> no circuitry whatsoever in that, apart from the wires connecting the light bulb. That's good. One flashy one. Yay. The other thing I wanted to show you was the laptop. This is the HP Pavilion DV1000 entertainment laptop that I've got working again. Fully restored, everything works. Find the remote this morning with an on off button on it. As you can see, there's no lights on at the moment. No lights on, so it is fully off. T hard turned off. You now I'd have to press the button. But, so you can actually sit this, I don't know, at the end of your bed or on your bedside cabinet or whatever. Coffee table, so you can just lay back and watch videos with a loved one. You press this button. And it boots. You can also turn it off with this as well. <laughs> I love it. I really do love that. Anyway, moving on. I'll turn it off again in a minute. Um, did sell two bicycles today. Uh, so I've managed to get the electric one out of my friggin' way. It's downstairs in the shed, out of the way. Uh, that 
guy on eBay is um, selling me two more lamps, actually. Um, not through eBay, private sale. Um, I don't know if he's replied, because uh, he was going to send me a payment request. Yep. Alright then, as soon as I receive the uh, payment request, I'll send him payment. Um, one of them is a cult which is apparently an American lamp not one I'm familiar with Dietz, I know that name but not um... Colt look, look good so I'm buying that one as well <laughs> um... I don't know if I'll get a message from PayPal. Hmm. I want to send him a reply in a bit. Uh, yeah, one was the cult, and the other one's called a Dorman 360. Which... It's easier. Instead of explaining it, it's easier just to show you, so... I was hoping it would come up. Well, it took me a while to remember the name, but it's called the Dorman 360. So I'll just show you that. That is what it's on. It's got the traffic light body, but the um, big 360 lens. Very, very rare. He's selling me uh, that one for £10. And the Colt for £10. And that includes postage. Um, I don't know if he'll put both in the same box or post them separately. Might be a better idea to post them separately, I don't know. I don't care as long as I get it. I'd rather have that one out of the two, but... Yeah, there's, um... British Gas, a long time, long, long time ago, when I was little, used those lights. Um, I don't think any other agency did over here. As far as I know, it was just British Gas and their contractors that used them. So they are sort of few and far between, and I forgot to put the security bolt back in. <laughs> Never mind. So yeah, anyway, that Dorman 360 is a very rare lamp. And I want one. I would so love one. Uh, well, I've got 20 quid in my bank account already, so... As soon as I get the PayPal money request... Or whatever... I can uh, send him the money. Matt, he's just sent another message.
He was just letting me know that that red Dorman uni lamp that's on here, he said he doesn't think it's that rare like stated. I have seen a lot of people put that in their titles, but I think they do it just to get attention. Because a lot of eBay searches are based on words in the title. So, um, a common trick for sellers is to put as many random words in the title as possible. <laughs> Rare is usually one of them. Um, but you said there's a website that I can get them cheaper if you can find out what it's called. Well, if you can, that would be great, because that will save me some cash. But I wouldn't mind the blue ones, either. Um, well, I suppose eBayers like me would only think they are rare, because we don't see them on eBay often. Right, yeah, I'll um, message him back in a minute. Well, I met up with Mum this afternoon. Didn't piss it down, thankfully. Like it did yesterday. Got some groceries. I've got sausages and things in the uh, freezer now and chips and whatnot. So I'm good. And someone is revving the absolute shit out of their motorbike. At half past eleven at night. I'll let them off. <laughs> anyway. What else did I do? I sold the, those two bicycles. Which gave me room in the shed to put the electric one in. can hear a lot of loud voices out there as well. Um, had to sort around in the bedroom with my lamps. I, may, um, I think I've got enough charge in this camera now to go and show you. Just turn the laptop off remotely. There we go. I love that feature. Why can't all laptops have that? It's literally a mobile DVD player. I don't know how long the battery would last. But, you know, you've you've got an all-in-one there. As long as it doesn't crash like this piece of shit desktop of mine. It crashed yesterday just for me trying to transfer them bloody drivers for said laptop to a pen drive. No idea how the hell it crashed, but it did. Right, hang on a minute. A close up of my ugly mug for you. <laughs> it should be fudge, I'm not in everything over. I'll take this uh, Cortina lamp with me. I'll just put the bolt in first. That so might as well go up on the shelf and I'll take the others in when I go to bed myself and hang them back up. Right. My bin really stinks and it's too late to go down and take it out. That, and um, I've only got my boxers, socks and t-shirt on. Because my legs were itching like fuck. Right. Yeah, the other thing I've done in here is sorted out my own shelves. If you remember those that have seen it, I did a video where, video where I wired up lights on both these shelves and... Flick the switch on a com um, computer power supply and I could light, like, about six lamps on each shelf. Well, I've changed all that. So that's what I've done. I thought I'd store them on the shelves that way because I can get more on the shelf. So, that's the Dorman shelf. Lots of uh, various Dorman traffic lights. Traffy light. And that one ain't got a sticker on it. Is that one? And that one ain't got a sticker on it either. 
Yeah. They're all um, various traffy lights. That's the first style we ever had. Made by Dorman Smith, licensed by or from the Dietz Company. So they are exactly like a, I don't know what Dietz model, but they are exactly like a Dietz model in the US. And I've got that um, BT lamp, British Telecom lamp. BT never took the order apparently. They cancelled it and never used these lights, so I don't know how people ended up with them. But I know at one point on eBay I could have picked these up. Easy peasy. There's even a couple on there now. But I remember sort of like a year or two ago I could have picked those up every day of the week. Anyway, what else have I got? I've got the old British Rail ones. Warning lamps. Um, from what I've found out, I think these were used at construction zones on railway lines to warn trains when they're entering a area where perhaps a track's being repaired or something. Red to show they're entering, amber to show they're exiting. I think that was the reason for the red amber lenses. And uh, I think you need to put two 6 volt lantern batteries in the top lamp. It does say on it, I'm not, I don't know which one is the top. Yeah, that one is the top. CDAC, I'm not sure what that stands for. So you only have to put a pair of batteries in one. Because they're linked to there. You can put batteries in that one as well if you didn't want to link the two. But if they're linked like that, you only put the batteries in one. And apparently they would stack them one on top of the other on a post. Uh, then I've got the blue one here, which would have been used by the police. Um, designed to be visible in daylight as well as night. And this is another one that needs both batteries in here, both 6 volt batteries, otherwise it won't work. Uh, but everything else on the shelf will work on just the one. Uh, then I've got the static or steady burn with photo cell. Steady burn without photo cell, so I've got both versions there. Steady burn, <laughs> um, single directional, because as you notice, all the others are bi directional, that's only single. I don't think that, no, that doesn't rotate, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. I didn't think it did. I thought I had one dormant where it didn't. And then I've got this one, which is steady burn as well, I think. Blue and amber, which is, I was told, used by the fire service. Also got the traffic lamp ease up there. One with photo cell, one without. Uh, I think that's about it. Uni lamp up there. Yeah, most of these dormant traffic lamps seem to be um, steady burn, apart from that blue one. That's the only one up there. No, sorry, this blue one. And these two are flashing. But I'm sure the, they did a version with this body that does flash, but I cannot find it. Anyway, on this shelf I've got um, two JSP maxi lights. The steel flash and the plastic flash from JSP. Till dawn. Permic. Visibility. Renix. Empco. Cortina, Dorman ripoff, Nissan, and there's another Till Dawn behind the Dorman. And uh, once I've paid for them and they arrive, there will be another American one going up on that corner. And, <laughs> if I can find a home for it, another Dorman, probably not up there. Unless I have a move around. I could take one of these ones down. Move over here, possibly. Yeah, that's what I might do because they are pretty much identical. As there's a couple of minor differences with them, that's all. 
I can't. Dorman did sign lights as well that lit up white. I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of one of those. But again, they weren't a popular lamp either. Mostly used on the motorways and highways and byways and whatnot to illuminate the big signs on dark stretches of motorways. Anyway, I'm going to shut the video down here. So, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. I've got no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. Paying for a couple of road lamps, I hope. Uh, yeah. Alright, see you later.